Well, hello, my creative crafty friends. This is Gloria Plunkett with designsbygloria.com. I'm going to share how to make these adorable little cute paper bags. I think we're going to have a good time making them. So let's get started. We're going to need a piece of 6x6 designer series paper. Here I'm using the Succulent Garden designer series paper from the 2017 Occasions Catalog found on page 21. We're going to begin by scoring using our stamp and trimmer. And we're going to score at two and one quarter. We're going to scoot the paper down and then we're going to score again at three and three quarter inches. First, let me apologize too that I'm getting over a cold, so I know I sound really nasally. I hope you can put up with me for the next few minutes. We're going to rotate the paper 90 degrees and we're going to score again at one and three quarter and scoot it down and score at four and one quarter. Okay, now you can put your stamp and trimmer up and we can go ahead and grab a bone folder to begin scoring on all those lines. This paper is pretty busy, so I found it easier to do a nice score line with my bone folder um, in order to get me a really nice crease so I can see where I'm going to be cutting with my paper snips in a few minutes. Now I'm going to grab my paper snips and I'm going to cut along those long lines. Um, I'm going to make four total cuts. Two on the bottom here and here and two on the top here and here. Like I said the paper, paper was pretty busy so it was easier to um, cut along those lines after I had um, creased the paper nicely with my bone folder. Just one more cut here and we're done. Now I'm going to put some fast fuse or you can use a tear and tape um, and add some adhesive to all four corners of the designer series paper. I really love my fast fuse. It holds really well. If you're going to put anything a little bit heavy inside of the bag then I would recommend using the tear and tape for a little bit more stability. I'm only going to put a few um, Easter chocolates in there, so it's not going to it's not going to need a whole lot of um, adhesive on there. Now we're going to take and we're going to tuck those ends to the inside of the center panel. Be sure and square those up neatly. This will be your front of your bag. Let's press, tuck in the other side right behind it, square up that corner, and press. It's pretty easy, not much to this bag, but it's really cute. Again, tuck in that corner behind the front panel, the larger panel there, and then tuck the other corner and press. You see that the ends are a little taller than the entire bag. All we're going to do is take that extended piece and fold it over right where the crease line is there. We could have added another score line but I thought it'd just be easier just to fold it down and um, make sure it was precisely right over that, that um, panel. Now we're going to take some Tombow multi-purpose glue and we're going to put a scant of glue on the ends. It really doesn't take a whole lot. This glue is absolutely wonderful. dries quickly. All you need to do is fold over, press and hold for maybe three or four seconds. It's really, really nice. Do the same on the other side. Again, little goes a long way. As you can see, I'm not using hardly any adhesive just a little to make sure it makes contact with my paper and um, 
press and squeeze. Now to get the cute little um, bottom, we've completed the box here. I'm going to take my thumb and index finger on both sides, one on each side, and press down on the bag. And see how it creates that cute little fold on there? I just press with my thumb and my index fingers on each of those ends, and it creates my little beach bag type tote. I pull it open, kind of fluff it up a little bit, and there you've got your little cute bag. Now we're going to need the handles for the bag. I've gone ahead and cut some cardstock into one quarter by five inch strips. I'm going to use the fabulous mini glue dots that we have in the catalog, in the big annual catalog, um, and put one glue dot on each of those ends of that um, bag handle. I forgot to give it a little press on the uh, paper to kind of um, fold the, the cardstock a little bit and give it a little bit more give so when I put it on the bag it's, it's not so stiff. Again, glue dot, glue dot, and you grab your bag and on the edge there where the paper um, fold is made, we're going to put one down, press firmly on that glue dot and the paper and then do the same thing to that side, the other opposite side of that same um, panel. And we're going to take the other handle and we're going to do the same exact thing. Just make sure you press well on that glue dot so that it adheres to the paper. Here I didn't tuck them in correctly so I'm redoing it here and just retucking them back. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt the bag at all. And there you have it, a cute little bag to share any type of goodies that you want. It's not a tiny bag. As you can see, I put my um, Tumble Multi Glue bottle in it, and it holds it really nicely. So I'm sure you can um, figure out some quick, cute goodies that you want to give away to your friends and family. Come back and visit me soon. Take care and have a blessed day.